the No Fade channel, checking in. And today we are reviewing the Merrill Vapor Glove 3 Barefoot Running Shoe. I have been using Merrill's for well over eight years, and this is actually my third iteration of the Vapor Glove uh, Barefoot Running Shoe that I have been using for training. And I thought it would be a good time to just kind of go over it, give you the ins and outs, and help you decide if this might be a, a shoe that is right for you. So first and foremost, um, Quick overview, There is this is a barefoot running shoe, which means there is no drop, zero drop between the heel and the front of the foot. Oftentimes with running shoes, you see like a little bit of a cushion in the heel, and that creates a drop between the heel and the front of the foot. Because this is barefoot, ideally mimicking you running with no shoes on, there's no drop. And I absolutely love that for a few reasons. Um, first and foremost, it helps you when you do run with these to train to land on the front of your foot. When you're running, you really want to be landing on the front of your foot to absorb as much of the impact as possible. Easier said than done. Oftentimes when we get tired, we strike with the heel of our foot and that creates a lot of just damage or shock all the way up from our heel, knees, hips, all the way up our body. Um, so with something like this, we'll hopefully, if you do it correctly, train to run with the front of your foot um, as opposed to the back of the foot. Now, I do not do a lot of running with these um, for a few reasons. One, I don't run very much. Oftentimes, I just run races rather than actually do road work or training work. So I do minimal running with these. The last race I ran with the Vapor Glove was um, the Spartan Fenway series, which wasn't very far. And, you know, I've really loved them. A big reason that I do love them is that it has a Vibram sole. Merrells are known for their Vibram soles. It gives you a lot of really good grip, a lot of cushion without the, um, without the foam feeling with some of those running shoes. The major use I have with these running shoes is for gym training. I really enjoy, again, the lack of drop between the heel and the front of the foot. It's almost like you're lifting in your socks. If you've ever gone to the gym, you probably see some people squatting or deadlifting in their socks. Um, and I basically don't have to take my shoes off because that's there's no drop between the heel and the back of the foot. I will say if you're going to be doing a ton of mileage on the road, especially on concrete or cement, this isn't for you. Okay, Even if you are a front foot runner, um, there's not a lot of cushion in here and they're very, very unforgiving, especially on the road. I you, When I run in these, it's usually for shorter races, um, but I really enjoy lifting with them, whether it's for uh, plyometric work, whether it's for squats, whether it's for hex bar deadlifts, or just overall just walking in them. They're extremely, extremely comfortable. So let's quickly go over cost. I paid $55 because I bought these for two at the Merrill Outlets um, down in Foxwoods, uh, Connecticut. So um, if you would have got go online and buy one pair of these, these are going to cost between like 80 and 100. But if you're like me and you buy two at a time, um, you can probably get them for 55 or 60 depending on the time of the year and where expect exactly you're buying them. As far as how they fit, because there is a big toe box in here, um, I actually get a whole size down. Even though I have a whole size down, I still have plenty of room on the front of the toe. One of the problems that I have, I have a narrow foot, so if I got my, when I typically get my normal size, I have to really tighten, the, over tighten these laces in order to kind of hug the, the middle of my top, the middle top of my foot. So I will say if you're looking for these and you do have a narrow foot, uh, expect to get at least a half a size below what you normally get. Now, how long, how long do these last? Keep in mind, I don't run with these on the road very much. You know, I, I maybe put, in terms of road work, I maybe put, you know, 20 to 40 miles on them for the life of the shoe. Most of it comes in uh, the actual races, but I do use these every day in the gym, whether that's for the elliptical, the Stairmaster, jumping rope, uh, plyometrics, box jumps, squats, you get the idea. Now, these last me on average for my use 18 months, and they always seem to fail in the same spot. And I've talked to other Merrill owners of these shoes who love these shoes and they still fail in the same spot every time. Um, so it's not just me or my fail. So on here, you can hopefully see they're starting to stretch and tear on this side, but on the inside, you can probably see this a little bit better. Um, right here, you can see these are about to go um, and they're about to add, the fabric's about to give out and actually you'll be able to see my sock. Every one of these pairs I have fails in the same spot, this side and on the reverse side, um, both at the seams. And again, it's just the manufacturing of them. And even though they fail after about 18 months, I still buy them because I love them that much. If you are into running and you do plan to put in a lot of road work, you do plan to run longer races or a lot longer mileage on the roads where you're on cement, 
you're on concrete and you don't have any trails or, or soft running, so to speak of, then I would recommend the Merrill, I think this is called a Road Glove, if, and I'll, put, I'll make sure I put the correct name here. And again, I'm a huge fan of Merrill's. This also has the Vibram bottom, and I ran a half marathon on this in October with no issues whatsoever. And you still get almost no drop between the heel and the front, but you, as you can hopefully see, you get a little bit more cushion, a little bit more give, and it, even though I say a little bit, these are gonna be a lot less than your typical running shoe, and you should, uh, over the course of a long time, try to learn to run with the front of your foot. And even me, when I get super tired or during those races, you'll, I, I've seen video and I'll still, I'm still striking um, mid to back at the very end. I usually start off pretty good in the front to middle and then boom, towards the end of those races when I'm just fatigued and, and exhausted, I'm still heel striking a lot more than I wish. I am a fan of the Merrill Vapor Glove 3 for trail running, for short races, for a little bit of road work, but most importantly, I love this shoe because of how it handles in the gym. Great functionality um, across all my gym training. Um, and I'm gonna continue to buy these in bulk because I just love them that much and they fit my foot so well. Um, I will say this is the Vapor Glove 3. The, they, they ha in every season, they have new iterations. So by the time you see this video, they might be up to, they might be up to the Vapor Glove 7. The changes are really small. The biggest change between iterations is usually the color scheme. Um, oftentimes, I, it's really hard for me to even pick out the small, subtle changes that they make between the iterations. So if you see this video and you see a new iteration, don't let that uh, shy you away. It's probably the same thing uh, that I'm describing here, right here, right now. If you're interested in buying these, hey, I have no affiliation with, with Merrill whatsoever. Merrill.com, the best bet is to just Google them, or if you're able to go to the Merrill outlets, that's probably where you're gonna get the best deals possible. But again, I tend, because I have a narrow foot, as I mentioned, I tend to get these in a smaller version. This is a full size down from what I normally wear. But for some of you, a half size might just do the trick. Uh, hopefully you found this informative. If you have any questions regarding the Merrill Vapor Glove 3 or any of the Merrill Vapor Glove iterations, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to get them answered as quickly as I, I can. Dedicated as usual, you if you came this far in the video, give this video a like, still hit that subscribe button, and don't goals. save anything I provide for the ideas trip back. And insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.